Hello guys. Today I'll show you some of my R&D how to get math passes inside RenderMan. Now you can see that we do have four spheres here right in our viewport and first thing is is that go to RenderMan and choose your pixel surface material. Click on this and you will get that material. So we have four materials and go to your render man and render. Now you can see the render is done and we don't have any kind of light here. So that is why it's looking dark. But we have the render here and we have uh, four spheres and four different different materials we have. So now the thing is that we need to take a mat passes so in mat pass is consist of three steps first one is select this material this is the material here you can see that this is shape node and in the shape node you will not have any kind of mat attribute you have to go to your pixel surface shader and go to attribute and render man and manage attribute and you can see that we have some attribute or you can say some custom attributes we can add here so here you can search for mat and we have seven mat uh, options here this mat is one kind of you can say a group so select it and you can click add on it we'll have this added attribute inside this material so if i go down you can see that render man and click on here you'll get that mat id 0 which we have recently added close this and you can create a color that is red <clears throat> now we can see you have to think this mat id 0 is like a group and in one group you can create as many as color you want there is no problem to get the colors you can create any color but in mat pass we need to have only these six colors we have here CMY and red, green and blue. So that means is what that you have to have six colors in one group. In this case, I'm not going to show any six colors. I am going to show red, green, blue because of you can take the cyan, magenta, yellow. Uh, this is a simple, you can take colors. So this is the first thing. Uh, go to your pixel surface shader and add it here M A T T. We have this zero group, so I've added this one. Close this, and we have this for a man and red green. You can put green. So the C in that same group, I have added a second color go for your third one so m a t t now third group add close this go down main render man and you have this blue color cool and fourth we go here and m a t t we can take this mat id 0 uh, because we can put a cyan color, we can put magenta color, we can put uh, your yellow color. Uh, so in this one group you have six colors and the second group will have six colors. So this is how it is. So in this case I'm not going to put six colors in it. 
and if you want to do it you can do it there's a problem with that so we have the second group for your uh, the sphere so you can take this and add it here so this is a second group and in the second group also you can add six colors in this case I'm going to add only three color and the first color is red so group one yeah mat id one has red color and your mat id zero is also red color and both the layered color is in another group this is the first step you have done second step is go to your render attributes here render settings and go to passes and in this passes you can take that mat id 0 the same thing you can see here that this group you can render so you need this also group 0 and group 1 and click on this button so you have these groups cool this is second uh, step you have to do third step is is that go to your hyper shade and we have see uh, we have that uh, pixel surface one two three four drag and drop here and now you can see that we don't have any kind of search option so press one key and press three key to refresh it and you have to search for ut and you can see utility pattern click on this plus and you have utility pattern zero and what you need to do that go to tab and press pxr mat id so you have to take this otherwise your aov is not going to be rendered and first thing is is that if i press one key it will collapse everything if i press three key it will collapse it will uh, expand everything so this is a result aov drag and drop it right here in your utility parent it will depend one is there but don't need to use this only you need to use this zero parent so you have to add press 1 press 3 press ut go to plus drag it put it here drag this yes obviously it will take some time to set up and press ut click on this plus sign drag and drop here and last not the least that you have third fourth one and just type here ut and render aov result aov is going to parent so this is the third step you have done here so go to for render so now you can see that uh, we have rendered these things out and we have catalog what is catalog catalog is like history so everything you do automatically you will get that history like b-ray you can see we have some history but this is automatic so if i press c key you'll get rid of that catalog if i press c key you'll get it back so now i can see if i have ip or render which is beauty pass and you have this ipr mat id so you can see the first group is having three colors and your second group is having one color if you have lots of uh, other geometry you have would have put it in that ID pass now this is how you can do that uh, your ID pass inside a render man but you'll be thinking that is very very long process 
that uh, you have to use this kind of network and this is very very peculiar and uh, lots of work we have to do for that one id pass which is very very easy if you go to your rendering and if i use this pass uh, this shader uh, which i used to do typically like that out color i can take that red and you now can see that it's very easy to do that the problem is this uh, it's a very very huge problem i have found if you use this thing so what if you are using that displacement so first thing is this that you can see that uh, if i go to your here clean this out and drag it drop it here press uh, input output connection here and press three key not one key and come here I can minus this out I don't need that so what if I can I will be using that uh, displacement map so press tab key press P X R displace so this is pixel displacement map node and uh, we don't need that because of we'll be having this shader so delete this one and just outlet is going to be in your displacement shader so displacement shader is there and we have gain and so and so we can increase decrease by this gain and another thing that we need to have uh, you can take anything you want, but in this case, I'm going to take pixel, a pixel, a fractal. Uh, this is like a noise kind of uh, pattern. And we have result F, A for float, and drag and drop it into scalar, this brings the scalar. So now I'll tell you what is uh, result A for displacement. Uh, scalar and in next video when I'll show you uh, displacement in detail but uh, today's topic is not displacement I'll show you why you need that process to accomplish your math task so now you can see that uh, if I go to your render and render this out now you can see that we have some displacement is going on cool very nice and if I go here and you can see that Matt has is also having that displacement this is way more time saving process I have ever come across in rendering process because uh, if you are using any kind of uh, this thing this uh, shader you have to put suppose if i put it you have to go and you have to go to your sharing group and you have to put uh, this displacement map here also so it is a very very difficult process and this is a nightmare when i was doing mental ray and in mental ray there is uh, no such uh, this kind of workflow uh, that will do the process automatically and even if we are using this ao that means ambient occlusion this is the very very important uh, methodology to do it because of in AO also you need to have that displacement so you can see we have this one and we can have this it's a very very nice I have liked it so much though it is taking time to set it up but once it's there but you don't need to do anything for your final render so hope you have liked it thanks thanks a lot for watching